making a cake. I make, it's Franca's official birthday today. Um, this is something I've bestowed upon her because her birthday is on the 2nd of December and it always gets overlooked. So I decided last year that she should have an official birthday and therefore I'm making her a Victoria sponge cake. I've got to go and find strawberries and cream and hope for the best. Um, my recipe is this. It's 225 grams of caster sugar, 225 grams of self-raising flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, four eggs, little splosh of vanilla. I've got vanilla powder, but vanilla extract, never essence, because that's disgusting. 225 grams of butter, Fling it all in, whisk it, add milk, keep whisking until it's light and fluffy and ploppy. And then you put it in two lined tins. Bake on 170 for about 25 minutes. Oh, look at those flashing on my screen. I've made this cake and um, I overcooked it. I don't know how. I haven't baked in absolutely ages, so I just didn't have, either did it for too long. No, it was quite brown before it was cooked in the middle. I think the oven temperature was up higher than ideal. And I think that that's partly because it was um, such a warm day today. Or well, is such a warm day. So I'm making a Victoria sponge, as I said. Uh, we're gonna have fresh cream on the top and um, some fresh strawberries. These are such good strawberries. They're from um, a village down in Somerset called Cheddar. I'm wondering if I could grow some strawberries from seeds. Have some cheddar strawberries of my very own next year. Uh, I went to the farm shop and um, they're following all the safety procedures and what have you and, and I felt fine about it because you know I've not been out at all and then as it came for me to pay and there's perspex screen between us and I realized that I hadn't bought any ham and I couldn't go back around because there was a queue and I didn't have time I needed to get back home um, because I had a food shop being delivered um, I forgot to order jam, strawberries and cream. Um, I felt really sad and weepy and a bit distressed. It's been a funny day anyway, lots on my mind. It's Black Tuesday, so I won't be uploading this video today in solidarity. There's so much that I could say um, I would go on such a long time. I don't know where to start. I just can't believe that in 2020 was still so backward. It appalls me. Back to cooking. Not being flippant or frivolous, just Struggled, struggled to find the words, don't I? 
Just going to whip up the cream. I've got double cream here. Again, this is from a local farm, local-ish. It's um, Bruton Dairy. I actually went to school in Bruton. That's where I met um, Kerry, Gemma and Sarah, three of my oldest and greatest and bestest friends in the world. Um, there's five of us. I've talked about the girls before. There's Kerry, Gem, Clary, Sarah and me. Sarah lives in Gibraltar. Gem lives in Worthing. Um, Kerry lives in London. And Clary lives in Dorking. So we don't get together that often. In fact, the last time I saw them all together, well, not even with Sarah, um, it was January last year. I can't believe how fast that went from voluminous, beautiful whipped cream to that. Oh, well, never mind. It'll go well with my burnt cake. <laughs> Just gonna slather on some strawberry jam. Where's this made? Let's have a look. Devon, that's nearby. Now for the over whipped cream. I'm sure, it'll be fine. Peeved about that because it would have spread so much better. I don't want too much cream because I don't want to feel sick in the sun. This is my nanny Sheila's favourite cake. Oh, these are lovely. I'm going to eat that one. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, so good. Oh, my Lord, babe. Oh, that is so good. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yes, that sugar would be awful if I put flour on it. Yeah, and I will pick some little violas to put on the top. But for now, this is going to go and be tucked away in the fridge so that the um so it's protected and so that the da, 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 cream. cream thank you teddy <laughs> doesn't go sour <laughs> That was so lovely and enjoyable. Oh my goodness, this rose, look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna have to take cuttings of this. I love it, even though it's going over, look. Oh, I'm gonna have to take cuttings of that in the autumn. Look at that rose, love. Hey. That is beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, got a pink in it. Yeah, Enjoy. you're lucky. Saved you from seeing him with his top off again. Honestly, he's a floozy. Oh, I've left the I've left the tent pegs. Oh, I've left the tent pegs out. Right, you can come with me as I walk over. Oh, <laughs> I tapped myself with my tripod. I didn't manage to get much footage of the little camp that I made because um, I ran out of time. I I didn't get things done early enough and then Frankel arrived and she was chuffed. It's really lovely. So that was great. Um, mission accomplished. And um, it was lovely because I had the bunting up that I won 10, 11 years ago when um, I was blogging and um, Jules, so sweet Violet, was blogging and she had 
bunting up as a giveaway and uh, I was the winner and I remember the um, remember the email she sent me going hello Gaina it's your lucky day you're the winner of my giveaway oh, windy. oh I'm going to show you this rose as well because we are due rain tomorrow and then we're due wind and then we're due a week of rain so might not be here again going over hopefully I'll manage to get out and deadhead it and then it'll um maybe come back who knows there he is look naked don't look peas I've got peas well I've got pea flowers I know I've shown this before but now I've got more ah and I sowed some more they're coming up Look at that dry ground. I think if I could only eat one thing for the rest of my life, it might have to be salad. I love it. I really love it. I really love it. Look at it. It's so pretty. I would have a big lettuce as a bouquet if I was a bride again. Let's be having a get off ant. This one's mine. <laughs>